A year ago, I lost my first Bernice Mountain Dog, and I was really contemplating um, getting another dog and another Bernice Mountain Dog, and I didn't want to do it without being able to share the joy that my first Bernice Mountain Dog was able to provide for my family and I um, with my kids here at Crestwood because they are my extended family also. So they hear a lot about my family, they hear a lot about my animals um, through what we do in class and in um, different lessons. So I spoke to Mrs. Cerrito and approached her with what her feelings would be if I was to get another puppy and start training him to bring him into school to be a comfort dog. And she said yes immediately without hesitation. So her support really was the springboard for me to get this process going. And um, along the way, the kids have been a part from when he was a puppy, when I brought him home, through some training cycles. I've shared um, different little videos and um, timelines of how he's grown with the students. And they have been um, very supportive and active in just being very engaged with him even before they knew him. So Griffin's main job is to make everyone happy, um, which he is very successful at. Um, so he actually encourages the kids to do things that I don't know that I would have been able to uh, reach from them and achieve. Um, so they do this all naturally. So I think it's the best part of his job. His goal is just to be here and support the staff and the students in any way and it's been quite effective. Griffin brings in a positive just energy wherever he goes from our custodian um, and janitor, Mr. Bauer, to our teachers, Miss Lupinacci, all the way into our kindergarten teachers. Um, and it's not just when they see him in the hall, they will often seek him out on their lunch breaks or their plan time, which we all know is so sacred. Um, and they will take the time to seek him out just to give him a little pet, or and they'll even say, oh, I needed you so much today. And, it's so fascinating to see how much this little furball can make people smile when they've had the worst days or they just needed a little extra and that piece of chocolate didn't work and he just does it and he doesn't say a word, he just sits there. Before Griffin came, I sent out a PowerPoint to all of the teachers that um, to share with their classes on um, how to interact with Griffin, whether they saw him walking through the halls or just um, in their own classroom. So the kids know that if I'm walking with Griffin or they pass him as they are walking, if they would like to pet Griffin, they have to ask for permission first. Um, and after I have given them permission, kids two at a time can pet Griffin. And when they are done, they have to wash their hands or use hand sanitizer or a wipe um, when they're done. And um, go, and most importantly, they're not allowed to disrupt the learning of others. and. This has taken on a whole world of its own. They can follow this process without even being reminded. It's, it's amazing at what they are learning and following just by being excited about the dog.